Hello and welcome to our compilation of trending stories on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. Coming up, fears and tensions seem to be increasing following a series of abduction cases in Ghana's oil city. Also, we take a peep at the debate surrounding the Church of Pentecost's decision to put a ban on pre-wedding photo shoots. But first, do subscribe to our channel. To our formal story, and it appears residents of the Sekendi Takradi metropolis are now living in fear as multiple cases of kidnap have been recorded in the area. From August last year, reports of young girls being kidnapped in Ghana's oil city surfaced. Three girls identified as Ruth Quason, Presla Bentum, and Presla Crunching are the topical kidnap incidents in the media domain. Subsequently, a 28-year-old Nigerian man by name Samuel Walls was arrested as a prime suspect. After his initial arrest, Samuel managed to cut the iron rods of the cell window and absconded. He was re-arrested, but the police have revealed that the prime suspect has revealed to speak or show the whereabouts of the girls. The developments led to agitations from a section of Ghanaians who have taken to social media to launch a campaign dubbed hashtag bring back our tardy girls. Meanwhile, investigators from the United States of America and the United Kingdom are said to have arrived in Ghana to assist in rescuing the three kidnapped girls. According to a report cited by Air News, the investigators are in Ghana following a petition. Let's stay a bit longer on the kidnap case because the three girls are still alive and the prime suspect Samuel Wells has begun to volunteer information to the police. Now, this revelation was made by the Minister of Gender, Children and Social Protection, Cynthia Mamley Morrison when she visited the community and families of the victims. The minister assured them of government's commitment to find the three missing girls alive and reunite them with their families. She however cautioned the public against panic, speculation and vain suspicions. We will be glad to read your comments and thoughts on this story in the comments section below. But away from the worrying development and what could be described as a trend or order of the day could soon be forgotten, especially if you're a member of the Church of Pentecost Ghana, as the church has banned sexually suggestive pre-wedding photo shoots. According to the church, a lot of would-be couples abuse the act by going the extreme of touching vital areas of each other as if they were already married. The church said it is about time it pulled the brakes on such acts before the sanctity of holy matrimony is broken. This was announced on Saturday by the General Secretary of the Church, Apostle Nanaya Okumi, at the Global Ministers' Conference at Pentecost Convention Center, PCC, at Gomafet and Yekaswa in the central region of Ghana. Also, the Church has prohibited the serving of alcoholic beverages and playing of secular songs with what it describes as ungodly lyrics during wedding receptions. Pastors of the Church have been challenged to encourage moderate and decent weddings to cut down costs. The church has also intimated of measures to strengthen premarital counseling for prospective couples before they are taken to the altar, a move it believes would help reduce the rate of divorce. And these have been the trending stories on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. Until I come your way again with another package of the news, do subscribe to our channel and let's get talking on our social media platforms.